Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a fun project. We're going to be adding another layer to Neapolitan. I'm kind of chuckling because this piece has so many layers, but I wasn't loving it. So we're going to be using the Artisan Bronze Mica Powder, White Dove by Primal Flow Paint, Maran Gold, Lores Angel White, and Lores Blushing Pink. And we're going to be using my Promarine Tabletop Epoxy. I'm going to mix that up for three minutes off camera and I will be right back. I will link the creation demo for this piece down below if you want to check that out to see how I got it to the point where it is right now. So we have our resin all mixed up and I'm just going in with a little bit of clear and I'm going to lay that down in each little section. Now I'm just going in with my gloved hand and smoothing all the resin out. I love to use um, my gloved hand because you can feel, you know, where resin's missing. I'm going to go in with my bronze up at the top here and just make little puddle pours. I wanted to have the top be pretty transparent because I wanted to keep the design that's um, on the layer underneath. And here I wanted to cover this entire section up. I just wasn't liking it. So I used a lot of the Lores Angel White. And that's a really nice opaque white. And it gives you awesome cells and lacing if that's what you want. So um, yeah, check that white out if you haven't um, used it yet. It's awesome. And then at the bottom I was just adding the Lores Blushing Pink. That one's a really gorgeous dusty rose color. So I'm basically just going to be alternating my colors here. The Bronze by Artisan, the Angel White by Lorez, and the Blushing Pink by Lorez, just to make uh, puddles and trying not to do, you know, the exact same colors in the same section, just trying to switch it up a little bit. And then I'll go in and put uh, the White Dove by Prama Flow Paint on top because that's a really pretty shimmery pigment that'll just sit nice on top and give you tons of shine and sparkle. Here's the White Dove by Primal Flow Paint. This one is very, very pretty and shimmery. It's like a pearl white, but it's not opaque. It's transparent, so it gives you a really nice shimmery effect on your piece. And now I'm just going in with a little bit of the Maran Gold, just a dab, because this stuff will take over. As you can see from my previous layer, I went a little bit crazy with the gold, the Maran Gold, um, my last video of this piece. So definitely go check that out and uh, just see <laughs> the process of this piece. It's been something I've been working on for months. And I'm keeping this piece, so I really wanted it to be something that I like a lot. And I ended up really loving it in the end, so. Now I'm going in with the heat gun on high heat and just popping any bubbles, warming up the resin a little bit so it moves around easier. And I'm just taking my popsicle stick and swirling around all the different puddle pours, connecting them, doing a little bit of a design. If you haven't tried this technique um, with resin, give it a shot. It's so much fun and uh, it gives you some really awesome blending and designs in your piece. So I was just going through the different sections and connecting all the puddles together kind of moving my little tool around and making swirly lines. I'm really loving these colors together. I, I'm thinking that this is my new favorite color palette. What's your guys' favorite colors to use with resin or acrylics? Let me know down in the comments. Here at the top, I really wanted to keep the top section of the piece, so I was trying to just do my puddles on the bottom half of the top, but it just really wasn't looking cohesive and wasn't, wasn't looking right. So I decided to go ahead and um, just kind of move my little swirly lines up towards the top. And when it cured, you can still see some of the design underneath. So I was happy about that. 
And now I'm just going in with a little bit more of the gold up here just to kind of break it up. I wanted to add more of the bronze up at the top because I wanted it to be a little bit darker than the other section. So I just went in and added one more puddle uh, with the bronze by Artisan, the Angel White, and then the Maran Gold. And then I'm going to swirl that out as well. Now I'm going to go in with my heat gun on high heat and just move it all over the piece one more time just to pop any bubbles. I am going to call this piece done. I'm just going to take my finger here and go around the bottom getting off any drips so I don't drip on the ground while I'm taking it to the dust free zone. And I will show you what she looks like in 24 hours. And here it is. I love how shimmery and sparkly it is. The crushed mirror that I put on there and sprinkled glitter on top is so reflective. I'm really loving how this turned out. I like it better than it was before. So I'm glad I did this. So see at the bottom you can still see the layer underneath, which is nice. It gives it really nice depth. And there was glitter under there too, so you can see that popping up through. All the colors went together really nicely. I love, love, love these colors together. The dusty rose is so pretty. This section right here is my favorite part of the piece. You can see that white dove sitting on top. And there's a lot of depth in that section. It's hard, really hard to pick it up on camera. I know I've said this before, but like resin is so much prettier in person. It's just impossible to photograph because it's so glossy and shimmery and then from different angles it looks different and different lighting it looks different. So it's just it's really really pretty. It's like you have to see resin in person at least one time to really appreciate how pretty it is because you just know in person it's going to be even better right? I love the top section. This is my favorite part too. I got some little cells popping up there, which was awesome. I wasn't going for cells on this piece, but they just showed up on their own. And see, you can still see the layers underneath. The maroon gold you can see under there and the feathering at the top. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and taking the time to watch me do some art. I hope everybody's having a great day and everybody has a great weekend. And I will uh, see you on Monday for another video. I just wanted to include some still shots too for you guys. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate all of you so, so much, and I uh, will see you on Monday. Bye.